Welcome to Holy Trinity Church, as this weekend the church in its calendar celebrates the feast of the baptism of Christ. Where better than uh, this in front of our portable font, made by one of our parishioners and in this beautiful uh, blue colour. Uh, we celebrate this Sunday as part of uh, that season, revealing the true identity of Jesus, one of our Epiphany Sundays. And it begins with water. Water, one of the symbols of this rite of passage, this sacrament within the church. Uh, the water is both symbol of the Holy Spirit and part of that tradition of welcoming children into our Anglican church through the waters of baptism. Of course, uh, there will be those who have had an adult baptism, like myself. Um, the symbols are the same. The dying to the old self and the rising to the new. The giving of saving grace in this sacrament to all of God's people. Very important stage in, the, in our journey. And for our babies and children and infants that come to our churches, it's the very beginning of that journey. So the water itself is a symbol as is the shell that is used to pour the water on the child's head. The shell is a symbol in itself, a symbol of pilgrimage. Those who have been on the Camino or other pilgrimage routes will have seen this sign, this symbol, wherever they go. Uh, the very uh, old ancient sign of uh, pilgrimage, following on a journey, following Christ on a journey and we use it in baptism. The next symbol would be the signing of the cross on the forehead of the child. The cross, the symbol of Christ's sacrificial love for each and every one of us and there right at the start of our life's journey for us. And then we would have uh, the lit candle presented to the candidate and uh, I usually like to uh, allow the child to follow the flame with their eyes uh, as they're being held either in my arms or in the parents arms and as the child's eyes follows that lit flame um, to remind us to remind us all that Jesus gave us a very very simple lesson I am the light of the world follow the light and you won't fall in the darkness. Even a child can understand that as it follows that candle flame. So those are the symbols of baptism and uh, the new life, the new life that Christ offers to each and every one of us. Perhaps at this difficult time in our history, in our circumstances, we might remind ourselves of that very first vow within the baptismal vows, the question that is asked uh, to the candidates, to the parents, and uh, to all of us. Do you turn to Christ? This is our prayer, our collect, our special prayer for the baptism of Christ, this feast day. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit, that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.